Apologize, I've been gone for a while. I've been, I've been playing uh, a different co-op series with my brother, so I haven't been on this one in a while. Um, I believe in our last episode, um, I had been looking for a wrench, and I finally found one. As you guys can see, here we are. We got ourselves a wrench, so that's great, and it's exactly what we need to get going. So. I am going to probably pause the video, but I'll come back on when it hits daytime here. And um, we are going to put our wrench to good use. Um, maybe even get a workbench together. So, and if that happens, then we'll be able to get a mining helmet and we'll be in a lot better shape here. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and pause it there and I'll come back on when we have that. Uh, I'll put together. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Almost daytime, um, but I was bringing you guys on to kind of look at what it takes to make a workbench. Um, so I know you get you need mechanical parts. Um, you need 20 of them. Um, what the easiest way to figure out what you need is you come into the search bar here and you just type in workbench. And as you can see, and it's daytime, there's that daytime right now. As you can see, you have to learn this. This is an item that has to be learned. It's something that you learn in your skills. Um, but And I have it learned, which is why it is white there. So what I need is a claw hammer, a wrench, which I own, and mechanical parts and forged iron. So that's what I'm working on getting together. So I'll bring you guys back on after I get all that stuff ready and we'll get a workbench down. Um, I'll show you what you can do with it. All right, see you guys in a little bit. I thought I'd bring you guys back in here for a minute. I, I need to get 25 forged iron to make this workbench and I need to use my only wrench. And that creates a problem um, because uh, I can't make another wrench until I get to level 40 and learn steel. Once I learn steel, then I can make a wrench with the workbench. Currently, I'm at level 20. That is a long ways off. So that leads me to want to use my wrench while I still have it. And a uh, little known fact is that when you go and create this workbench, you don't have to have a functioning wrench. You could have it completely useless to the point where it's not working anymore. And so I believe I'm going to go tear apart a bunch of stuff with this wrench while I have it so that I can have more useful items. Uh, namely, I'd like an engine and some more mechanical parts, uh, hopefully, so I can get some concrete going. Let's see. Let's look up concrete while I'm on the subject. So concrete mixing, you need a science of three. That's all I need to get to. So let's look at our science. Let's see. Got to erase this out of there. <clears throat> Currently, I have a science of zero. So we got to jack that up a little bit. Once we get that up, so up to three. So I'm going to need to buy it two more times. Once I get that up to three, then I will be able to learn concrete. And I would very much like to have my concrete mixing and a concrete mixer before the horde, and it being day 10, or day uh, 6 right now, excuse me. That's uh, it's coming pretty soon here. i got approximately two days. So I will bring you back when I'm out uh, scavenging some vehicles apart. So I'll be right back in a little bit, guys thought the best thing to do would be to probably come to this used car shop. Um, this is like a gold mine for a man with a wrench. These used cars are any vehicles. If you turn them apart, they give you all kinds of useful items. And so that's what I'm going to be doing here, guys. Just tearing apart vehicles and I will probably speed through a lot of this but I will pause to show you when I get anything of value. I 
but it's going to take me a little while. I'm going to drink some coffee to make it so I, uh, it's a little easier on me. As you can see, I use a lot of energy, especially right now I'm just getting iron from it. Usually, see, I'm starting to get mechanical parts, springs, cloth, gasoline. I keep an eye out so zombies don't come and attack me while I'm doing this. Uh, lots of times you'll find that's what happens. You get kind of sidetracked. But this is the phase right here that you usually end up getting your engines or your let's see I didn't I got some oil electrical parts springs mechanical parts and electrical components um, you're probably most of the time you're not gonna get an engine after it looks like it does right there but we'll we'll finish tearing that apart and we'll see what comes up with you more gasoline, which I can always use. More mechanical parts. Really, this is honestly the best way to get mechanical parts. Is just tear apart these vehicles like this. But from that one car, I've got five mechanical parts out of it. That's pretty good. Especially with the crappy wrench I have. I'm going to drink a little more tea there. Got zombies coming from every angle. So the, this right here, this type of vehicle, when they look about like this, this is usually when you get the, the engines from them. So let's throw this guy apart and see what we can find. I need an engine guys. Let's go. Engine, engine, engine. I'll even take the crappy one. Not picky. And get any engine. It's one thing you, know, you just if you can't make it. You gotta find an engine. So open this. More stuff in there. Oh, let's see. Yep, no engine so far. Well, I'll keep keep looking. Get my energy back up here. I don't want to be stuck out here dealing with zombies if they come and ambush me while I'm got low stamina. Here we go. Almost got this guy apart. Let's see. Let's see what I got so far. Hmm. More of the same so far. I got some short iron pipes added to my list of items. Okay, this guy's empty. Let's see if this guy. Come on. Need an engine. Need an engine. What do you got for me? Springs. Electrical parts. Gasoline. Mechanical parts. Take a breather for a second. Let my guy get his energy back. Let me wander around a little bit. Let's see. Is there anything in here? Nope. It's already scavenged. I wonder if this one has been. Ah. Uh, nothing. Alright, back at it. Uh, I really need an engine here, guys. Oh, see? Good. Found a battery. I don't need that for making a, a concrete mixer, but we're on the right path. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. And the nice thing is I'm getting a lot of metal. Uh, with this metal, I'll be able to upgrade all my spikes that I need to upgrade. I'll probably want to do that before I use up my hammer anyway. In the meantime, I've got more metal down in the forge. Man, I really, really could use some corn. If I had some corn, then I could make some meat stew. And my guy's wellness is all the way down to 75 right now, which is pretty horrid. Um, normally, I don't take the chances that I've been taking. 
and I've been doing it for kind of for science so you guys could see the pitfalls but I've also not done real well even when I've been playing normal so uh, yeah very uncharacteristic of me I'm usually at this point I'm up in like the 120s as far as my wellness goes but in the name of science so that you guys can see what not to do at least that's what I'm convincing myself that's why I do I'm doing so poorly so you guys can see what not to do got some radiators you know I know you can scrap these or you can melt them down but I uh, I want to say I think radiators should be used for something else I don't know if you guys seen anything I've been watching some uh, YouTube videos of I give a plug out to uh, Joel he is with the fun pimps and he was showing that in uh, the new update one of the things they're looking at doing is making it so you can drive cars around and I think that that is a fantastic idea uh, really never made sense to me that you couldn't fix up one of these mini vehicles that's lying all over the place around it's like there's a car right here there's a car right here this car's in pretty good shape I mean it's kind of scuffed up and messed up looking but other than that pretty good shape you would think that zombie looks like he's trying to get through that gate over there you would think that uh, should be able to fix one of these up and so I'm glad they're they're taking that on all right if you guys want to see that go ahead and uh, search Joel J O E L and seven days to die and you'll see uh, he takes takes you through a kind of a preview of a lot of the things coming up in the newer updates it's pretty interesting uh, got anything to drink just got coffee that's not gonna help me much my guy is hot let's see where this could be why I'm gonna take that off I'm wearing a sweatshirt I'm wearing black suit pants it should be hot okay come on just would like an engine there we go guys that's what I'm looking for beautiful little tiny small engine 55 level I'm not concerned though oh I got myself another battery too that's a good battery 521 but that engine that's what I'm really looking for my my wrench is getting down there um, but that's exactly what I wanted guys it's great I keep tearing apart these cars uh, until my wrench wears out and then we'll go back I think I'll upgrade all those spikes uh, and then uh, oh my guys get thirsty and hungry I don't have any food on me I don't have much for food downstairs I'm probably gonna have to take some of that meat that I got and just grill it or boil it one of those two things so that I can make uh, give myself some food and uh, it's unfortunate because I would really really like to make meat stew with what I have and really give myself a boost in wellness okay I think I'm gonna tear apart just this one more car right here and then we'll head back and do some uh, fixing and uh, get something to eat. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm, I'm back from uh, tearing apart those cars and let's get back down here and uh, I'm gonna get some more forged iron going because I really could use it. I'm gonna add some more fuel to this. I got enough. It says I need six and a half minutes here. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I got fuel to cover what I need there. Perfect. Okay, good. And uh, that's my metal trussing. That's all right. So let's take a look. I've got. Well, let's look at what we got here. Okay, so I got my small engine. We got some car radiators, some car batteries, 
I got a headlight, some leather. Headlights are useful uh, for your mini bike. Got some more short iron pipes. I can scrap those, but I also need those for different things that you create on a workbench. Spring, some more mechanical parts. Got everything I need here to grab the rest of that forged steel that I was creating, or forged iron, excuse me. And uh, I can throw together a workbench. And I think I'm just going to do that. Get a workbench, we'll get it set down. And uh, there we go. So, bring it up. Workbench. I got everything I need except for my hammer. Where did I put my hammer? Claw hammer, claw hammer. Where are you at, claw hammer? Am I just glazing over? Here it is. Claw hammer, I got everything I need. I, I got more mechanical parts than I need. I'm gonna drop off some of this extra stuff that I don't need. And, oops, I don't wanna, I don't wanna put food in here. Take that back out. And we'll go from there. All right, let's get. There we go, guys. Got everything I need. Perfect. Just hit craft. Once again, uh, the workbench is something you have to learn. It's a skill you learn. If you type in workbench here, I don't know if I talked about it when I learned it, but here it is right here, guys. If you click on it, it'll tell you all the requirements you need for it. You need a construction tools skill of 15 or higher. That's a skill that slowly goes up as you use construction tools. And you need a two tool smithing of two or higher. That's a skill that you buy. So, got my workbench going. And let's see, the workbench will be done in 4 minutes and 25 seconds. Alright, and in the meantime, I'm going to get some food going, and uh, we'll see you guys back here when I get the workbench done, and we'll set her back down, and we'll get swear going. that I heard a pig hitting the spikes, and I could really use some more meat, so I came up here to find it, and I am not seeing that pig anywhere, so I'm thinking that it must have just been a zombie, and I thought it was a pig. But at any rate, uh, as you can see, I do have a corn stalk here going, guys. And it'll be done here in a little bit. I hear a zombie. Is that this chick over here? Yeah. But anyway, uh, so I do have some corn growing. Um, that's really good. I'm going to need to get more of these plant it out as soon as that one's done I'm just gonna harvest it and I'm gonna replant it oh that's what I heard I knew I heard a zombie man she was just coming right up on me crawling around like that man it's hard to see them um, we'll carve this chick up got myself a hunting knife that's good got rid of that okay so uh, that being said no pig up here I'm gonna head back down this went up a level so that's good and uh, I believe that my workbench is done now, so we'll get it set down, and oh boy, guys, we're going to make ourselves a mining helmet. That's the crowning jewel of our achievements for this day, so uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, mining helmets are a game changer in here, so let's go. We're going to set back. I got myself a nice little carved spot back here for the 
workbench and let's just grab this guy there he is right there put him in my tool tab and let's go here we go so workbench there it is it's a beaut it's a beaut Clark look at that look at that workbench uh, workbench is like anything else you can rotate it put it where you want I think you can even do fancy rotation with this. It's the uh, same as anything else. You hold down the R button. Oh, nope, you can't. It just does simple rotation. So there you go. You can't put this thing on the wall. But there you go. I think I'm just going to put it back in this far corner. Maybe center it. I think I'm going to center it. What do you think of that, guys? Yeah, I like that. So there we go. Got ourselves a workbench. It's beautiful. Open it up. It looks just like everything else got a couple different things going on here here's your output of the items that you make here so say I wanted to make some ammo I say oh let's just make five ammo it goes into here and it creates some out here now this is not the same as my crafting menu if I go into my crafting menu as you can see I'm not creating arrows and they're not showing up in here I come back into the workbench you can see the arrows are now in the output I can take those into my inventory and now they are added to my inventory the nice thing about this is I can put things on the workbench get them crafting walk away they will craft up and they don't have to clog up my personal crafting menu so it's really really nice uh, you can actually get two three four workbenches going and you can get a bunch of stuff crafting pretty quickly and it's really great especially when you're playing on your own to make things move the, move a lot smoother all right so one thing we've been looking for guys and I've been wanting is a mining helmet so tap and search mining helmet there it is guys and this is what we need football helmet got one flashlight light got one uh, electrical parts I need Eight. I have 11 that's good and I need scrap plastics I'm gonna need four of those oh man I hope I have enough I'm not sure I do I know I've got duct tape though so we gotta grab duct tape I've got enough electrical parts football helmet and scrap plastics oh I don't know about those scrap plastics and that really sucks because I just used up my wrench oh man here we go moment of truth Oh, I don't see any in there. Oh, I've got four of them. Awesome. There's my duct tape. Got a flashlight already. Just need a uh, helmet. Look at that. Got a beautiful helmet. I'm going to grab that guy right there. Let's just come on over here. We'll open up the workbench again. I should have everything I need for my mining helmet. It'll save your search. Click on it again it's highlighted in white hit craft and there she is in 30 seconds I will have a mining helmet and I will be a happy 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 boy all right here we go so 30 seconds um, in the meantime I'm gonna let that start cooking uh, I want to point out to you guys um, I got a torch here in my little room but uh, I don't think I've mentioned how to grow mushrooms and I I'm not a hundred percent sure of how it works myself I know I've tried growing mushrooms out just in the open air up the top and it doesn't tend to work too good I think mushrooms grow better in the dark and they definitely seem to grow better underground so you can plant the mushrooms underground like this in a cave and if you leave them in the dark like if I don't have a light source back here, I think it helps. I I'm, I'd like to experiment on that and see if it works better. Like set some mushrooms in one place, put some light going above them and see if that hinders their growing. But uh, they definitely don't grow as well up top out in the sunlight. Or they at least I don't think they do. They didn't seem to when I, pra I planted them before. And I've definitely had them grow fine down in caves. And that's where you find them so I tend to think that that's probably a good rule of thumb thumb is to plant your mushrooms down down underground in caves all right so let's see we've got our mining helmets done now level 50 oh that's a great quality mining helmet 
I just wear that guy. Now, got to turn that off. You just push F. Uh, look at that. Oh, we're about out of time for this episode, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and come back to finish up the rest of the story on the next episode. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, hit the like button. Um, subscribe to see more. And thanks a lot. See you on the next one. Oh, this guy ran out of fuel.